Fishermen are also working with scientists to devise new methods to survey fish populations in hard to survey places. The Canary Rockfish Project started uh, several years back under the auspices of the Pacific Groundfish Conservation Trust. Put out a request for proposals to do some work primarily to try to survey rockfish, specifically canary rockfish, to supplement the information that was being provided by the National Marine Fishery Service trawl surveys. One of the problems with the normal trawl survey mechanism or, or, or process that they use is that they don't conduct these surveys in areas of very rough hard bottom because the nets can get torn up, they can get caught up on, on the rocks. So one of the things that we were hoping and the industry was hoping to do all along was to try to develop a survey device that would be able to survey these difficult to survey areas. That's, that's a challenge. This video trawl that we have developed is using commercial fishing gear but with an open end at the back of it and this trawl camera that's looking at the fish. So the basic idea was to have one of these shrimp excluder grates force the fish up and out through an opening and we would have our cameras looking at that opening. And that's the fundamental design that we've adopted in this video trawl work. So again, the main purpose is to try to see the fish as they're moving through the net and out of the net uh, with the, the notion that we would be able to count them and identify them to species. I think there is an appreciation now for the fact that uh, status quo for doing surveys, there are some major problems with it. They aren't getting into the rock piles. They're not seeing where the fish are and yet they're extrapolating from out areas outside into those rock piles at densities that just don't make sense. There are a lot more fish in certain areas than what they are capable of measuring with current technology. The clouds of, of krill are amazing. Okay. The, the, the uh, lingcod stacked up on top of each other at the back end of this thing are amazing. The canary coming out, which is really the point of the project, that, those are amazing. There's one section where there are um, thousands and thousands of red striped rockfish just flowing out of this net. I mean, there's, there's some in pretty visually incredible clips. There's still technical issues to be worked out, but I, I think there's a lot more that we could learn relatively inexpensively from use of this technology, from better use of fishermen's knowledge about where the fish are, and trying to do that in a systematic and a scientifically defensible and repeatable uh, manner so that it's not just uh, the fishermen saying, oh, there are a lot of fish out there, and the, and the scientists saying, or the managers saying, oh, no, there are no fish out there, and you're, you're just kind of stuck not being able to get ahead at all. We had a, uh, a group of uh the fish and game guys on the boat one time. So anyway, we're cruising around and for several toes there, we, we noticed we were catching some rockfish. Well, we were in areas that don't traditionally carry rockfish and the scientists were blown away by that. Like, we're not supposed to be catching these things here. And these guys had a really hard time getting their mind around that because it, it didn't fit their model. It wasn't something that they were used to seeing, which just goes to show you, I mean, there's, even the scientists haven't got it all figured out. There needs to be a balance between the, uh, the industry and the scientific community. What we see and what we do out there has to have more credibility than it does. We're professionals and we're the ones that put the time in out there. We're the ones that are seeing the, the ocean change, the conditions change, what's up, what's down. Um, and when you just have these surveys that are set up randomly where you go out and do a station or you do that every year and compare the same station, that doesn't mean that those fish aren't there. Those fish are either a migratory species or they move in and out with the currents and the tides. I think the new, manage, or the new scientifics team that, we, that we're working with in the trawl survey top-notch. I really believe that they want to see changes and they want sustainability and they want to uh, they want to see a future in this. The ocean's a big ocean and 
Fishermen probably more than anyone are out on the ocean observing things on a regular basis. And so it's always been my view that uh, we have a lot to learn from fishermen and their experiences regarding where fish are, uh, where the fish might be under different circumstances. 